Hi, this is Tom Morgan from thoughtstuff.co.uk. In this short video, I'm going to walk through the process of creating a new UCMA application and application endpoint, which you'll need if you want to start writing UCMA applications. This walkthrough assumes you have a configured application server and application pool already set up. The first thing you want to do is open the uh, link management shell. You're going to need the application pool, so use the command get cs trusted application pool. This will give you a list of any application pools you have on the application machine. As you can see, I only have one. It's the fully qualified domain name that you'll need to make a note of. You need to create an application and an endpoint. To create, create the application first, using the CS Trusted Application command, it will prompt you for the information it needs. At a minimum, you need to give it a name, a port, and that fully qualified domain name. You'll see a warning in yellow that you need to run Enable CS Topology. Do this now. Once you've created an application, you create the endpoints. You can create one or more than one endpoint to lie on an application. The endpoint is the SIP address by which users will reach your application. If you just accept the defaults, you will not get a chance to enter the SIP address or the display name. Therefore, put these in as optional parameters before you press enter. The SIP address must be SIP prefixed. Now that you've added the optional parameters, PowerShell will ask you for the required ones. Again, you'll need to put in the fully qualified domain name and the ID of the application. To verify that everything's been created successfully, you can run get CS trusted application and get CS trusted application endpoint. As you can see, I have more than one application. The new one is at the end of the list. Hopefully this short video has helped you create applications and application endpoints in UCMA.